Hello YouTube, this is Captain 85 Kurt. Um, this weekend did a lot of shopping around and uh, basically I'm going to start out with uh, yesterday I sold a Sega Genesis with a Enforcer gun, um, Sonic 2, Toy Story, uh, Lethal Enforcers, um, what else? And then there's a couple other games I kind of already forgot. Anyways, I got $75 for that whole lot. So basically with all that money, I basically spent it the next day shopping at thrift stores, flea markets, and so on. So, let's start out with... Alright. At one flea market, I got an Xbox game, kind of my first Xbox game. It's Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. Right there. So, boobies. Check that out. Yep, that's right. So, first Xbox game, it's in good shape. Instruction and manual. And there you go. So that's one. And then I went by um, Goodwill, where they usually tape all the games a lot. Anyways, uh, I went in there and they're like, oh, we got you some stuff. And it's already set by the register for me. And uh, I got a bunch of games and two special controllers. Let's we'll start with the games. We have NFL football right there. Vegas Stakes. Road Riot 4 wheel drive. Or 4x4. Star Fox. Let's see, Balls 3D fighting at its bally, uh, ballsiest. Right there. You got Final Fight in good condition. You got a uh, Desert Strike, Toy Story, uh, Tecmo Super NBA Basketball. I got a uh, Chester Cheetah, you know the Cheetos guy, right there. And I also got a uh, Yoshi's Island, basically Super Mario World 2. Ah. Castlevania 4, right there. And I have a uh, Nigel Mansell's World Championship, so it looks like a, re uh, a racing game. And then I got a uh, Gradius 3. So, right there. How many games was this? We had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 games. And. All those games are up for trade except for like the Cheetah and uh, let's see here, Toy Story. The rest of the games I kind of already have, so those are up for trade. If you don't need any of those, let me know. Um, and then the two controllers, which I'm actually going to buy parts to. Two wireless, made by Acclaim, dual turbo Super Nintendo controllers right there. Um, now it's got the receiver right there, but I don't have the uh, part that goes into the Super NES. So, I'll have to get one of those. But I got all that stuff for 20 bucks. So, we had $20, and then I spent $8 on the game. Right there, so it's 28 Now I went to uh, Savers, and I found... Super, or not Super, but a Sega Genesis Model 2 and the Sega uh, six button arcade stick right here. I got all that with all hookups and a six button uh, controller right here and Sonic 2 for $10. So, there's that. And then we had what's well, one flea market and from one. Hispanic, uh, I guess, business guy. I got the N64 controller. It's kind of a blue see-through. Uh, good joystick. Got that for $4. And then I also got a side pocket. Good condition right there. And I got a Samurai Showdown. Yeah. Showdown. I don't know. It's weird, but there you go. And then a crappy version of, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Revolution X. 
So each one they'll take a game for or a dollar. Then ten a game was two dollars. Um, and then I found this, but it was kind of broken. But I think I can fix it. It doesn't have the RCA right there. But um, they just gave me that for free, so I spent eight dollars from that guy. And then I went to another shop and I had to get a Mario slash Duck Hunt game for someone. I'm getting a Nintendo for. Anyways, while I was there, I couldn't believe it, but I found a Sega Nomad. So I played just Sega Genesis games. Let's see here. There you go. As you see, excellent screen. Works great. But it's the Sega Nomad. Came with the college football game. And then I guess this is a, a battery pack right there. But uh, works perfect. I got this for 20 bucks. So, yeah, the Sega Nomad was 20. And the Xbox game was 8. And then the other games from the one um, flea market guy was 8. And then we had the Sega Gen or the Sega Genesis Model 2, which was 10, and then all the Super Nintendo games with the two controllers, which was 20. And let's see here. And then I went to Rouse Records and I got a few Atari 2600 games. Got Towering Inferno, Chopper Command, and Dragster. Uh, they're usually four dollars, but he gave them to me for two each. So, not too bad. They, they see me there all the time, so, you know, they're usually able to do a little something for me. Then I got a Super Nintendo power adapter. Need another one of these. They're harder to find. And then uh, I went to another Goodwill, since there's like six million of them. Found Donkey Kong Country for Game Boy Color, I think. Yeah, Game Boy Color. So I'll play that on my Game Boy Advance and try that out. And, uh, yeah. So... Got all that stuff. I uh, I sold that Sega Genesis with the the Enforcer gun in those games for seventy five dollars. I basically spent seventy dollars on all this stuff. I got the Nobad, the N sixty four controller, the Dead or Alive game, a couple Sega games, the another Genesis with uh, controller and joystick, all those Super Nintendo games and two controllers. And yeah, let's see here. Also, at one of the Goodwills. I got a bunch of turtle figures. I might have to try that off later. But uh, I also got a package in the mail from eBay. Let's check this out. Anyway, somebody's trying to be quiet in the background while I'm doing my video. I'm the Easter Bunny. Y'all would know her as Jack's babe. 